Over the phone, I've been scared. I'm my bond when I get through. When you drunk, you tell me exactly how you feel. I wanna all night. Say it. I wanna all night. Hey, y'all. We are out. Hello. Um, my nails turned out really, really good. Ah, hopefully, you can see. I am, I got on this teeny tiny skirt that I do not feel. I got to keep pulling it down because my butt is like going to be out if I don't feel like. Mama done gained some weight. Got some weight on her. Um, but came out here to take some pictures, but I don't even see. She said it was a cross. Okay, I'm across from it. I don't see the lady. No, take some more. Go ahead. Do a, do some more poses. Hey, y'all. It's Sunday, July 28th. And I just cannot believe that July is really flying by like this. I am about to do some skincare. I was trying to pull up the questions from the Q&A. I asked the people that follow me on Instagram if um, I asked a couple different times, but it's not coming up, so it must not be meant to be. But I need to wash my face, and then I wanted to do some lashes real quick, but I feel like that might take a little long, longer than I'm willing to commit to right now. A little lash brow and lip gloss combination. Yeah, it's not coming up, and I'm ready to go. I want to go get some shrimp. Hold on. I want to go to, I don't even know if there's no Whole Foods over there. I want to go to Whole Foods and get some shrimp because, well, it don't have to be Whole Foods. I can go to like a Safeway or something because when I tried to get my shrimp from like a giant, they smell so bad. Like they smell like they have been sitting out for days and I don't even think I took it back. Usually... I try to hold on to stuff and take it back because I don't got time to be spending money and, and the food is not giving what it's, I'm scared to eat it, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. But I just won't go back there. But I definitely feel like I could trust Whole Foods. I could trust the quality and I could trust um, that it, it was sustainably sourced, I think. I mean, that's just my assumption. But, oh, and Whole Foods also has the best oatmeal raisin cookies. I haven't gotten any in a while. But the last time I went there and did get some, it was a Friday. And I had gotten some oysters because they have the oyster deal where you um you get 12 oysters, I think. Oh, you get, yeah, 12 oysters for $12 or however many oysters. The oysters are a dollar. And I did that deal. And they were good, but I also picked up some cookies while I was there, and the cookies were busting. I also need to get me some root beer because if you know, you know I am in love with root beer, and I am on a mission to give my girl the respect and honor that she truly deserves. I need to order some. Well, I don't need to, but I want to order some earrings too because right now I just have on this little mismatch duo but i don't have any silver earrings like that i need like some everyday earrings <sighs> this is the daily brightening serum y'all if you haven't already seen my nails i've been talking about these nails all weekend i took my time yesterday 
I did my nails and I love them real bad. I think I already picked out my next set too. Um, but yeah, I was so happy. I was gonna go to this girl and she said that she was downtown because I was not trying to commit to, ouch, I just scratched my head. I was not trying to commit to a nail tech that was super far away. So I asked her where she was and I was thinking about going, but then I was looking at the price list. And even though I have been spending money more than I have in the past, when I say the past, I mean the beginning of this year because I started off this year saying, okay, I'm not spending any money. I did frugal February. I went on a trip in January for my birthday, but even on the trip, I wasn't spending as much as I could have because I was really in a position of, I am really trying to get out of debt and I still am and I will, but I'm also, I've been saying that I don't want to be depressed. Like I don't want to not be able to treat myself. I'm trying to find the balance. I've said this a couple times before now. So part of that was having my nails done. And another thing is I've been talking to my therapist about this for months. Like I, I, It would be to the point where I would see a girl and she would have her nails done and I would be like kicking myself. Like I'm just so mad at myself for feeling insecure or feeling envious that she got her nails done and I don't. It's like, girl, go get your freaking nails done. It's just that serious for you because it's really not that deep. And it's not like you don't have the money. You don't have to feel guilty about treating yourself to something nice. So I started to get to the point where I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna feel bad. When I tell y'all this journey of becoming better with my money has just been a, a roller coaster because it really shows and proves how deep and how far back it goes from the time even probably before you truly understand what money is, you're, you already know so much about it. So I've been trying to unlearn or re, uh, reprogram my brain when it comes to things like that. Because if spending $100 for two or three weeks, $50 a week is really going to make you that much happier girl just do it but i ended up not doing it i felt so motivated by uh i don't even know what it was i got the inspiration from instagram and i think it was mainly because i asked the girl whom i was interested in going to hey do you have any appointments today like all oh, your books open or whatever she was like yeah it's gonna be an extra 20 dollar fee and I was like, oh, it's not urgent. But it was urgent because I'm the type of person where once I set my mind on something, I want it right then and there. I think I got ADD, honestly. Because I don't have the hyperactive part, but I don't know. So anyways, I was so hard pressed. I was like, no, I need my nails done now. I need it. It's my money and I need it now. That was literally me. So I was like, let me get on Amazon. Mind you, I already have the full like lamp. The I had some colors, but I ended up ordering some more colors. You know how it'll be usually I found that it was like in high school kinda or in my younger days, you will have or know somebody, a, a woman, a, well, a girl. Sometimes I haven't really come across any women that do it to this day, but anyways, a person and they'll be like, oh, I don't do my makeup. I don't do makeup, you know, that's doing too much. Or you gotta wear makeup every single day. Mm. Or, why you getting your nails done? It's not even that serious. I would never pay. I would, you know, I would never do. It's like, okay, girl, don't. If you don't want to do your makeup, if you don't want to do your hair, go get your hair done. If you don't want to have nails, don't. But this is what I would say to myself. But then I would be resenting myself in the end. 
because you really do want to get your nails done you just don't want to spend the money for it because it's not again it's not like i don't have 120 dollars there's just a piece of me internally that will feel guilty about spending it. When I tell you this is the work of therapy, it really is. I am so grateful that I can, I'm at the place where I can recognize my feelings and emotions and also track them back to where they're coming from and then be like, mm -mm, nope, we ain't doing that no more. Me? If I want my nails done, I'm going to get my nails done. If I want to spend, because yesterday I spent $70, I think it was, on the nail kit. And like I said, I already had some nail stuff. But old me would have been like, oh, I could just use what I have. Or I don't have to do that. I could just, no, you could just do what you want to do. Life is too short. Like, you could just do what's going to make you happy, even if it's just for a short while. I did a video about this, too, on Instagram because I was saying the same thing about flowers. I used to always feel, and you know what it stems from? Like, the high-maintenance, low-maintenance conversation. Like, I don't ask for much. If you don't ask for much, you're probably not going to get much. Start asking for much. Please, higher, heighten your standards, please. Because the moment you start asking for much, requiring much, even if it's from yourself, you'll start getting that. And you don't have to feel a type of way when you see other people having that. They have that because they require that. You don't have that because you don't require that. Isn't that a word? Like, wow. So, I... And just, I love these lashes because I can still wear my glasses with them. I originally felt like they were too curly. But yesterday I had on some different lashes and I was like, oh no. Oh no, this ain't gonna work. Uh-uh, because my eyesight has gotten so bad over the past few years. Of me just not wearing my glasses consistently. And it's bad. I felt so good. When I put on my glasses, my new glasses, I got some glasses from Fermo and I got some glasses from, I'm blanking on the name. The heck, what's the other one? One of them blue things that I said because I wasn't going to Warby Parker because I can't, I, I didn't want to spend the money when I could find something comparable. But anyways, I love, I've been loving wearing my glasses and I've been loving just pouring into myself more and not feeling guilty about it. Like, girl, you are 30 years old. Life is too short. It really is. Do what's going to make you happy. Like I said. And then when it came down to the flowers thing, I had gone to the farmer's market and they had flowers. Now, in my younger days, I would have been like, when I say younger days, I mean probably like five years ago. I would have been like, oh, no, it's a waste of money. I don't have to spend 20, even if it's 20, $10. The flowers end up only being like $15. Not only, but $15. But old me would have been like, mm, I don't need it. It's not that serious. It, it brought me joy during the week. Like doing this is bringing me joy. Putting lashes on getting dressed because i was looking at some old videos on my page when i first started posting content and i would just be getting online looking terrible my ver my standard for terrible like hair not done bonnet on um no lashes no lip gloss no nothing and it's like my standards are, I'm raising my standards for myself. It don't have nothing to do with anybody else. It got everything to do with me and the life I want to live and the person I want to be. When I think about the woman I want to be, she 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 do a little bit better than that. Just it's Maybe not, not every day, but for the most part, most days. Sometimes, you know, things might get a little shaky, might be having a mental health day, but for the most part. So, I feel really good about that today. Again, I'm getting out the house. I put some clothes on. I put some perfume on. 
I'm feeling good, feeling great. Got my nails done, doing my lashes, period, girl. I know that's right. Mm, it's giving. I am literally so annoyed. I know that the sun is facing the wrong way, so y'all probably can't really see me like that. I'm at the mall. Well, about to walk in the mall. And this is like my third time not having my wallet. I changed purses and I took my wallet out. No, actually I needed my, I needed something. So I told, I had to you take my wallet out of my purse. And I just never put it in there. I thought for sure that I did this time. But it turns out I was just looking and I don't have it. <sighs> so annoying. Hello. Can I have um snickerdoodles, please? Hi, how are you? Oh, I got the biggest back I ever seen. I'm going to have to use Apple Pay for my whole time in here because I don't have no cards. Yeah, I can use Apple Pay, right? Okay, thanks. And it's only, not only, $6. I'm supposed to be keeping track of what I'm spending. I didn't plan my content for the week, but I do know that I said I was gonna do a what I spent video. And I just spent $6 getting some cookies. I'll call y'all back because they play music. got the goods yo i did not feel like once once i be tired i can't stop nowhere else like i gotta pick up everything while i'm in the mood because if i'm not in the mood it's giving doordash and i told y'all how much i spent last week so i'm trying not to do that again this week i'm trying to cook and i'm trying to be um consistent on my budget like i said i was gonna do so I got the shrimp and that's the main thing that I'm excited about because I didn't go to the farmer's market today. Usually on Sundays I go to the farmer's market, but I ain't been going. I ain't feeling it. I ain't trying to spend no money, so. You know what? I literally just got irked because I said I wasn't making no other stops. I could have stopped at the grocery store for all of this, but I didn't. And I just saw that they had paprika in here. I just paid three dollars for that in Giant. Hey y'all, today is July 29th, and I just cannot I can't believe it. The year is flying by. It'll be November, December before we know it. But it's Monday, so I am working, of course. I just made myself some lunch, a little bit of what we had yesterday. It was so good. And I didn't get a good video like I wanted to, so I wanted to record a little bit more so I could post it on TikTok today and YouTube and Instagram tomorrow. I need to plan my content. I said I was going to be, oh my goodness, I look cute. I said I was going to be um, consistent and I am. I have been consistent. All right, y'all, look. So I have red onions. Um, this is like a cabbage mix that I got from Giant yesterday and tomatoes. I'm going to put my shrimp on there and this little sauce that we made. It's like a rum, romulai. I don't know how to pronounce it, but basically it's mayonnaise, mustard, and then a whole bunch of like seasoning. You could put hot sauce in there, paprika, smoked paprika, obey, whatever you want to put. And then these are the shrimp and that was another thing yesterday i only did like one you know how you dump the shrimp in the um egg wash 
and then you just put it in the batter. You got to do that a couple different times so the, the fry mixture can actually stick. It stuck a little bit better than it did yesterday, so. Yeah, I'm about to make my little wrap. Also, I never made it to the gym this weekend. I need to call up there. But actually, I was thinking, let me just do a three-day pass first. Let me just do a three-day pass first before I commit. But it actually wasn't... Um, sixty dollars a month i think it's only gonna be like 36 dollars a month so that's even better i love that for me period because your girl i'll be 31 in what five months alexa how many days until january 7th tuesday january 7th 2025 is in 162 days okay that's not bad i got time but before you know it, it be done snuck up on me. And I don't want to be big. I want to be foin. I want to be foin. Also, I'm going to address this in my Q&A. But, yo, I'm trying to have a baby next year. I, I am. I don't want to be 35, 40 having, having kids. I don't. Let's go ahead and wrap this up right now. And plus, Miles is going to be 15 before you know it. He just turned 11. But as we can see... As I just stated, time does fly. So, I don't want to be at a high school graduation and change the diapers at the same time. Excuse me, excuse me. I gotta go change my baby diaper. Oh, no. Oh. I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's like a weird type of thing because I didn't already, we didn't already did everything that they say, like you're not gonna do. But we, we got some more trips to take. That's a part of it, too. I do want to take a nice, like, vacation before and, it, and during and after, too. I know people that travel with babies. Of course, it makes it a little more difficult, but it can be done. So, we'll see. Put my little sauce on. Mm, mm, mm. All the flavors just go together so well. I bought some new pancake mix too. Because I had bought the Kodiak Cakes pancakes. It wasn't for me. I I'm not there yet. Now I don't want to buy like Hungry Jack or something with too many bad ingredients. I do want something more healthy and or organic maybe. But not that. It's 320. That went really, really well. I am so happy. If it all works out, then I can't wait to share with y'all what it's gonna be. Um, but that should probably be in the next video. I'll tell you either way what it is and if I secured it or if I didn't, but I'm happy that it even came across my desk. And I want to get to the place where I am just experiencing gratefulness i was talking about well i was watching some of my old videos from like 2018 2019 and i was just feeling like man in those places i didn't realize why but now looking back on it it all worked out so it's fine whatever i'm going through right now if it's a hard day or a hard time, just know that it'll it'll be fine. It was fine then, it's fine now, and it'll be fine in the future. Or maybe it's not fine, but it's all working out. All things work for the good of those who love him and are called according to his will. Amen. I do have to go get Miles today. Um, and I'll probably call y'all after that. Somebody had a really long day. Dang, we've been sitting in this life forever. I had to pick Miles up. And I'm about to go into Whole Foods to do my returns. I got three returns from the stuff that I bought to redo the house. It just wasn't given. And if they got my oatmeal cookies, I am buying them. Yo, I also want to tell y'all why. I don't know if it was one bird that had the runs. Or if it was multiple birds, I parked under... I don't remember parking under no tree. They got me riding around in a dookie mobile. Literally so much poop on my car. Literally, I'm going to show y'all. But I don't, you know, 
it's like five, six, seven different poop poop stains, bird poop stains. Like, come on. I don't deserve that. So I'm going to go to the car wash. And I think the car wash is like $20. I was not trying to... I didn't say that I'm trying to save. Like, why would y'all poop on my car like that? Mom was like, you don't want to try to wipe it off. I would if it was if it wasn't five or six of them. But that's nasty. I mean, I guess I could put on some gloves, but that would be the same thing as me doing a, doing a hand wash, and I'm not doing that. What I just say earlier in the video: soft life, pay for the convenience if you need to. It's gonna take me. 10 minutes to go to the car wash go through it and do a quick vacuum <sighs> just inconsiderate like i can't stand people now no thanks now oh this under armor over, over here come on let's cross right here um we just walking i wanted to go check out this little area over here because i think it's some water and I was gonna take a quick pick. Just a quick, 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 quick snack. No, that's the name of the restaurant. I used to wanna work at Under Armour so bad cause y'all know Under Armour is headquartered in Baltimore. But they ain't never give me no rhythm like that for real. It's 20 but I have to save up for it. If I really want it. $20 is crazy for that. Hey y'all, stopped home real quick but well, let me make a um TikTok, well, an Instagram video. Because if you know, you know, back on my root beer train. Let me put y'all up here instead. Is that better? Looks better to me. Oh, yeah, that is. All right. Let's make an IG story with my new root beer candidates. Even though I don't think it's going to be better, but... It doesn't hurt to try and see what it's giving. Hey y'all, I was at Whole Foods today and I found this new brand. It is called Sun Sip. And it says root beer flavor. Let me see what's the ingredients. Carbonated water, apple juice, natural flavors. I don't know about that natural flavors, but it only has five grams of sugar. I did get me a case of Olipop too. Four of them for ten dollars. But let's do the honors. I'm a sommelier. I'm a rubis sommelier. Mm. Okay. No. I don't even want to take another sip of that. Absolutely not. Hold on, let me see. No. Mm -mm. It tastes so fake. It don't even taste. No. We won't be buying that ever, ever again. And I want my money back, too. Yeah.